when you are designing a irrigation system, checking the drip lines technical sheets, looking for the real one, do you know where does this data come from? Today, I will focus on the maximum length in the drip lines, showing you how it's determined. The maximum length is set because we lose pressure by friction due to the turbulent regime inside of the pipelines. The drippers interrupt the normal flux inside of the drip lines and generate head loss. The quantity of emitters that we have in our drip line is going to determine the maximum length of the drip line. Therefore, there are two main factors that affect the maximum length of our drip lines and this depends on the emitter's behavior, the quantity of emitters and the flow rate of the emitters. Let's have a look at the first parameter with an example. For horticulture crops like tomato, it is commonly used turbulent or non pressure compensator emitters with a thin wall or medium thick wall with a spacing of 30 centimeters between emitters. In this case, the maximum length will be 86 meters for medium thick wall with a flow rate of 1.6 liters per hour and 98 meters for thin wall with a flow rate of 1.6 liters per hour. The second parameter that affects our maximum length is determined by the equation of the meter. It's going to give us the flow rate in every meter in our known PC trip lines. The water enters the meter through the labyrinth and drops out toward, toward to the roots. In known PC trip lines, the flow in the meter is never going to be the same as in the following meter. This is because is not compensated. In the case of pressure compensator emitters, the situation changes due to the silicon membrane. The membrane keeps the same flow despite of the differential pressure in the trip lines. The equation tells us every flow alteration generated by the pressure is zero. It means that the silicon membrane opens up allowing higher flow rate when there is low pressure and closes down when we have higher pressure. Does it mean keeps the same flow from 0.4 to 4 bars? To summarize, the pressure loss varies depending on the flow rate we have. Logically, Smaller labyrinth like 1 liter per hour is going to generate less head loss than 3 liters per hour. In other words, a small, less emitter we have and the lower flow rate we supply, the longer our drip lines will be. If you want to know more information, don't forget to visit our website asut.com and don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn.